This child, whose birth we celebrate at Christmas, is the king of the universe. And he came to reign and to rule forever in the hearts of his people. We owe him our allegiance. And it says that his is a gracious kingdom. It's a kingdom of grace. He's not a tyrant or a despot. He didn't come to destroy us. He came to reign over us in grace. This is where our hearts find a happy home, is when we are happily submitted to his kingdom and his reign and rule. So in the first stanza, the emphasis is on his people, nations, and all the earth. But in the second stanza, it gets more personal. Reign in us. Rule in our hearts. His rule does not oppress us. This hymn says, it raises us up by thine all-sufficient merit. Raise us to thy glorious throne. And there we have a hint of the resurrection. 2 Corinthians 4 says, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. In fact, the scripture says that one day we will reign and rule with him. But before that can happen, we need him to reign and rule in us and over us. And then one day he will raise us up with him to reign and rule with him forever. This prayer, this carol, expresses the deep yearning and longing for Christ to come, to save us from our sins, to fulfill the deepest longings of our hearts, to reign and rule in our hearts, and to take us to be with himself forever. 